Okay, what could be up? Uh. Ah, the side. Hello, heights. Where are we going? Over here. gonna be for a high diving spot. Condor feathers. Nice. All right. What is that? That is, is that like a pelvis of, of an animal? During a fierce battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering calls the war. Interesting. Okay, none of, none of these are things. Okay, well, can we leap from this great height? Does that count? That didn't count, really? But I was up really high. I didn't say specific places, it just said jump from high places. Well, how rude. Okay, well. Hello, everyone. Gosh, there's still just so much. What do you have to- oh god. Wally. A little advice. Stay out of the wilderness, friend. Uh, stay out Something of my body out with your head. This is as near as I ever go. And even then, I make sure not to keep my back to the jungle for too long at a time. Okay. It's not like I don't believe these people. Beware. Beware. We've uncovered a wolf den in the area. But then again, maybe that is why you're here. What do you mean? The gods have sent one outsider to hunt another. Very appropriate. Best of luck on your hunt. Uh, thank you, I guess. <laughs> so... It is up this way. All right, well, I've sure I'll take care of some wolves for you. Ugh, God, mud. Bud. Hmm. Oh, this is the abandoned village. Is this where I was? Yeah, this looks to be where I was. Okay, so... We have the wolf den over there. Is that a document that I found? I don't recall finding a document. But then I was sort of distracted by the Trinity people. 
so... I must have. I didn't. There it is. Location found. Hidden. Terrain difficult to traverse. Seems safe from the stranger's intent on forcing us into slavery. Oh. Ooh, hello. <clears throat> Did I find a monolith? Ooh, I found a map, though. Okay, so there is a mural. But there also is a document which I want to find. A document. Oh, I can't get to it. All right. Well, never mind. To the wolves. Black wolf, huh? is up here, though. Curiosity. Ooh. Interesting stuff. Oh, it's a crypt. Well, hey, since I'm here. There we go. Got the glass. Oh, traps. No, 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 no. Okay, it didn't let me do anything. I was pushing the dodge button. Maybe I needed to jump. It wasn't giving me the option to cut the dang rope. <laughs> We'll just we'll just jump over it <laughs> and and not deal with it that way. Okay, water looks deep enough. Oh goody. First off, let's uh what are these? We've got Jade. Spears. And. Okay. Apparently, I didn't need to jump down in there. This might be a crypt where the nobles were interred. Ooh. Is this some sort of eulogy for the people laid to rest here? Possibly. Oh dear. Okay. Well, this is going to be terrifying. That's not... Okay. Oh god. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm stuck.
I do not like these underwater. Okay. That doesn't look like that would work, but you know, okay. Where do these go? Oh. Interesting. Oh, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, so many more things. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to go through that area I unlocked. All these statues are really creepy. Super creepy. has been here recently. That's not good. I mean, I guess if they're doing, you know, burying people, that's fine. I can't go through anywhere, though, I don't think. Not to these extra places. Here's what I've been looking for. Okay. Oh, God. Don't damage it! This is- this is my life now, Lara. We are sneaking around in places to steal clothes. This is... This is what we've- we've become. Chuki have woven us each a tunic of the finest wool by the time we reach the afterlife. Okay, I will not forget that I did not. Oh! I got out of there! Okay, well, at least I now have some unlocked monoliths. <laughs> only one? That doesn't seem... Why are its legs so long? This is a weird not wolf. Mm -mm. That thing's got weird legs. Can 
not tell me that there was only the one. I mean, I guess you can tell me that, but... Okay, I'll go through there in a second. Secrets! Okay, well, if there's something in there, I'll have to get it when I have a better knife. even a way that I can go through? I don't think it is. So did I... Did I take care of the problem? I mean, I killed a black wolf. Let's see. Where is... I guess I took care of the wolf. I don't actually- I think it might not have even been a real, like, actual side quest. I think it was just something that they were like, hey, there's a rare animal over here. But regardless, took care of it. Took care of the problem. random stairs. Oh my god, sir, you did not tell me that there was so much mud. I just like to tell you I took care of it. All right? I took care of it. Where is there's a relic? Ah. I see. That was the other side quest. Okay. Well, I'll go find this kid's dice. No problem there. Let's go somewhere. I was just- I'm just washing all the mud off. That's what I was doing. Hey kids, did you make off- Yeah! Yeah! I'm ter- I'm a terrifying lady! Have you met Baimo Ishiki? The fool uh, no, thinks the gods know. punished him. <laughs> Lazy bastard. Okay. Uh, no, I have not. I mean, actually, it's a possibility that I have. It's not like everybody's telling me their names as I talk to them. But I don't think I've come across anyone that has claimed that he has been punished by the gods. Hello, have you been punished by the gods? <laughs> come to plunder, outsider. Great warriors have failed the challenges. The hidden places offer rich rewards, if you survive. What are you talking about? A rite of passage. A test to separate the corn from the stock. A trial that all cultist warriors must face. Nothing for the likes of you. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm capable of. Then find the path of battle. See if you and your arrogance can survive it. Uh, dude, you're the one that is calling, you know, that is being arrogant. Just so you know. What's in here? So why is it so spiky in here? Okay. 
Okay, so we are looking for this tomb, in fact. This is the tomb that he pointed out, yes? Alright. I'll go find the tomb. And then I'll, you know... Give you a piece of my mind when I come back with the riches of the tomb. Bye! Oh god, the universe is tearing apart. No! What is, what is this? This figure must be the Nowell, the mythological beast stalking the outskirts of Aititi. Uh, is it mythological? Or is there a beast stalking the outskirts of Petiti <sighs> and nobody bothered telling me about it? I'm gonna be upset if there is a monster out here. And that dude just sent me to my death. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Okay, challenge tube nearby. Gee, I wonder which way it is. Very dark in here. Oh, that's nice. Ow! You told me that there was spikiness in here. Okay, well, we're inside. And I've Bit killed of a, grim a bug. Welcome. I'll have to watch my step. Yeah, just a, just a bit. Okay. Whoa! All of the bats. The, the, the pit to nowhere. I'm sorry. Why are all these bodies smoking? That... I'm a little bit concerned. The Maya goddess Ishel, like moon goddesses in many other cultures, was also a mother deity associated with pregnancy and childbirth. The natural phenomena over which she presided included waterfalls, rainstorms, and rainbows. Oh. She was also the goddess of all crafts, such as watercolor painting and weaving, which she invented. But she wasn't exclusively nurturing. Her hair consisted of living serpents. She wore a skirt made of bones, and she had a legendary temper. Sounds cool. Actually, I keep forgetting to do that, because I just assume that the uh, exclamation mark is nothing. Uh, let's see about upgrading this bow. My makeshift arsenal. Yeah, this is the bow that came with um, the outfit that I got. It does have a better rate of fire and draw speed. The damage is only slightly less, but at the hold time. And it doesn't look nearly as cool. That's also an issue. But. 
I feel like I'm required to, uh, upgrade everything. This is a pretty good bow, though. I think I only have one... Yeah, I only have one skill point. And does this outfit that I'm wearing do anything for me? No! Oh, it enables... I, I can't interact with him if I'm not wearing his outfit? That's silly. Fine, I'll keep it on. Obsidian blades never dull. Oh, that's delightful. Uh. Well, then, maybe you shouldn't have scraped yourself. Now you're gonna get some horrible, horrible disease. Again. Why are there burnt bodies down here? The gate's oh. open. Now I'll just have to get over there. Well, uh... How interesting. Who designed this place? This is the lair of nightmares. Okay. shiny in that water down there. Yeah, I'll get it later. Hello? Come, those who imagine themselves brave and bold. See if you can survive the trials awaiting within. Those who do will have earned their status as warriors. Well, time to have that guy... Uh, accept me. And... Terror. Okay. No problem. I have amazing... Hello. I have amazing jumping power. Well then, what's this? Also, why are there so many dead bodies down here? This could be the way out. Oh. Again, though, why are there so many dead bodies down here? It makes little sense. Okay. Yes, the rushing water would not have torn that apart over time, ever. Oh, dear. Look at this. Okay, then. I need to find a way to climb that, or lower it somehow. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, we got... Mm, I don't know, but... I want to 
Oh, I don't actually know if jumping across would be a good idea. Yeah, might as well. Let's go! Okay, not going that way. This place is terrifying. Totem's arms have folded in. Well, well. But it's not going to stay that way. So hesitated. What? The arms need to be raised somehow. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I see what I'm doing. I have to break it all the way through and run through there. Oh, jeez. Supposed to jump, woman. Okay. Here we go. Totem's arms have folded in. Well, we got... Yes. Now for the other side. Okay. Oh. Whee! All right. It is this way? Oh, dear. This is... This is crowded. Oh, look, well, I get, I get a consolation. I can't I'm, carry I'm anymore. full up on gold. Really? Slightly, but that's okay. Oh God, I broke it. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't I mean to be able to climb this. Didn't mean to break it. Okay, who's chanting? Uh. What am I grabbing at? That was weird. Hmm. Okay. What the? She keeps getting stuck. That's odd. Let me see if there's a different way I can go. <sighs> okay. This is it's hard. The camera angle is completely fixed. See, she, she keeps getting, like, stuck when I jump. Maybe 
I need to try to jump that way? Oh, that, okay, fine. That that time it worked. Okay. And we are here. What do I learn from you? Loose up to three arrows without pulling them from the quiver, which seems odd. Okay. How do I get out of here? I have to find a safe way down. Okay. Ah. Pretty safe, anyway. Fairly safe. You can go back and tell that guy that I beat his trial and broke it. Oh god, I jumped too quick. I jumped too soon. No! You know, I find it funny that they'll show her getting impaled. But, uh, when she falls from, uh, like, a great height like that, it just has this thing where she just disappears as she falls. Ah! Like, we can't go ridiculously graphic and show her, uh, crushed as she hits the ground. Now can we? Man, I am not liking these, uh, stuck angles. Was I supposed to go down? I think I was supposed to go down. Or not? How do I get out of here? Oh. Well, it's dark. I hope this isn't the thing that they're, they like, all of their up-and-coming young men go through, and they, they can't do that anymore because I broke it. That's delightful. Super delightful. just teleported out of here. Why didn't I do that? Fast travel from the fire. So I wanted to swim out through the skull. Obviously. Okay, but there's also a mural and something straight across, so... Or, you know, somewhere. Was it in the tomb? And I missed it? Oh, see, no, I got the mural. Okay, I missed a document in there. I'll go back eventually for it. Oh, hello, Capybara. Double checking that the document isn't over here. Oh, well, there's 
dead animals here. Hello, frog. It's so terrible of me that I'm just like, I want to get back to that guy so I can tell him that I did, did the trial. He's probably not even going to talk to me. He's probably not going to even acknowledge it, but I want him to. I want him to be like, oh. Oh, I am terribly sorry. Except I don't exactly have proof. Hi. I did your trial, dude. You're not going to talk to me. Yeah. Okay, where's the- there, okay. I'm somehow not seeing it, but... That's delightful. Hope we're having delicious, delicious dinner. Oh! There's apparently something up here, I think. I get up there. Sorry. Oh, hi. How you doing? Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Baititi, if you're asking. Okay. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The cleansing is upon us. And it should be Unurato's line that sacrifices Kukulkan to restore the sun, and not the other way around. But thoughts like that have a way of getting people dead. So it's no wonder they aren't voiced. What? I'm sorry. Somebody's going to have to do a little bit better on the explanation bit of things. Is that a dead dog? <sighs> or was, oh, it's a llama. up here awesome aha oh jade the aztec used these to burn incense so they could communicate with the gods nice I'm having a hard time with these when they have some of the, you know, examine for hidden information. Because sometimes I'll find ones that seem to have, like, a, a bit of a vibration when you uh, get near near it. And the other ones, I, you know, I turn it all around and don't seem to have anything like that. And I don't know whether it needs to be zoomed out. Isn't it lovely? Or like tilted in a certain way, maybe? That's terrifying. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what you want from me. Ooh, I got a new monolith, though. The peak of this mountain is hidden behind thick clouds. I can't be sure what these two smaller hills on either side of the mountain are supposed to represent. Hmm. Why don't we ask someone? Wouldn't that be better? We just ask. Okay. There 
Yeah, let's just do that. Alright, so we got those. Let me see about... Skills, I have two skill points, so... That's not bad. I don't really deal with the multiple shots. And that's the one that I got from the challenge tomb. Let's do this. It's always beneficial to be able to smack armored warriors. Okay, what happened? Am I in the area? It is busy today. Kukul Khan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings. What are you guys doing? I see. So we have a problem with people, uh... Okay, we're in a we're in a scary place. With lots of oh, hi. I didn't even see you back here. Well, at least he was nice about it. I mean, he definitely told me to get lost, but at least he wasn't like pushing me. Oh, we have a mission given somewhere nearby. The cast out knows the minds of the gods. Show me a sign. What I want is to somebody that I can sell my gold to. But I might have to go back to uh... the protectors failed, and are now doomed to recover what they lost. What? Hi. What you doing? Okay, what do we have here? Caves. Oh, walk right by that. It's Amna is the son of the Maya creator god, Hunabku. He was the god of education, responsible for inventing writing and books. This made him an essential figure in the development of Maya culture. Well, good for him. He was also god of agriculture and created farming. He even presided over doctors, healing people with the help of his red hot hand. Usually, It's Amna took on a reptilian aspect, but he was also known as Kinichahau, a fire McCall, who is the patron of the number four and controlled drought and disease. See, I love that about uh, like the Mayan gods and things like that. They like they just seem to encompass a lot of different things and have very interesting appearances. Where am I? Oh, there's gonna be an artifact down here. An Aztec influence mask, decorated with items native to the area around Paititi. Nice. To find this guy who was chanting. Ooh, look at this. That 
is cool. Oh my. So much. So much. Okay, well, let's go find this quest giver. I'm sorry, Chikadia. The cast out knows the minds of the gods. Show me the saga. Something about the cast out. Oh, hush up. I didn't push you. You keep on playing, dude. Hi. Are you Pisco the Dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the Dead. I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. Oh, thank you. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? Uh, not What's really. The game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom and tell me why Taki lost, and I'll give you the dice. I can do that. So we need to speak to outcasts. I was under where we even had those uh, roaming about, but that's fine. Uh, hello. I need a lockpick. Patoli is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round. Jeez. From blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their family's freedom. The god of art and games, Makwal Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe people need to cut back a little bit on their playing. Okay, so we need... Man, how do we find people that have been cast out? I mean, I guess, are they in temples like he is? But he's not cast out. I mean, he's he's dead, according to their beliefs. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in this city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Oh. Ah, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders. Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love. But our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kulkulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death. Tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me. The outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Aww. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. That's... I, I... What's terrible is that I have almost no doubt that the whoever it was that saved her is dead by now like they probably died in the jungle and that's horribly sad this describes something nearby Excellent. canals bring water to the arid parts of the village and they washed me away interesting um hello can, can i speak to you hi you are well dressed sir 
And you're really tall. enough space for that. Okay. Am I going to get trapped in here if I... Yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, wow! Surprise! Sorry. And I am sorry, I am totally not using paths. Oh, look, school! Why capybara? Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. I heard him too. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who were cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't a life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible? No, Ishiki. A herd of them. One night they assaulted my field. Trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of these capybara, all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it. Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <sighs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. But he's also an outcast? I mean... I am confused about the status of being outcast. My wife is very ill. As are many others, a sickness brought by the outsiders. <gasps> I'm sorry. Someone should do something. Sorry. I'll uh, I'll do what I can, I guess. Hi. Hello, Ishiki. Beautiful animals, aren't they? They are. Llamas, so gentle. Even the wild guanaco in the wilderness—they love to be petted. The gods approve. I will do that instead of shooting them. That's not true. I'll probably still shoot llamas. Sorry. I am at this point wanderingly, a wanderingly. I'm wandering aimlessly, stealing people's stuff. But I don't really have a um, a goal in mind. I'm just exploring. Uh, what's going on here? Excuse me. Excuse hmm? me. Set in the sesame. Fine, I'll go around then. What in the world is going on down there? Why is this room so green? Oh, is it? Is it like dye? Where you like dye in clothing in here or something? I don't know. What is going on in there? I'm now super here. Oh, hello. The people of the Andes Ooh. have been perfecting the art of weaving for thousands of years. This chuspas is a wonderful example woven of llama or alpaca hair and traditionally used to carry cocoa leaves. It clearly highlights the weaver's skill. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Alright, I, I like, desperately want to know what is happening over there, though. Oh. Well, that's nice. Another base camp. This place is so huge, it has to have a bazillion base camps. Hello. Seriously. Hi, move. Fine. 
Don't move. Rude. This elaborate pipe is sculpted to resemble Shaquatl, an Aztec serpent spirit painted in green, blue, and yellow. Its sides are decorated with semi-precious stones. The inclusion of jade indicates at least a measure of Maya influence. Can you look in it? Okay, whatever. All full up. Can't carry any more. Okay. Oh. Hi. I'm gonna talk to you guys. this cultist waiting for their deity to appear when the catastrophes come the god kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun otherwise the world dies sacrifice a god the sacrifice is my duty but this cult leader will take my place and attempt to become the god he believes we can remake the world and live in a paradise of his design oh remake the world what I've heard those words before. Yep, there he is. Oh, look. I know him. That's Dr. Dominguez. Behold! The instrument of our unity and salvation. Soon. Our dreams of peace and safety will be realized. They already call him Kukulkan, but his real name is Amaru. He was born here, but raised, lied to, by outsiders. The people believe in him. Oh. But you don't. My late husband, Saidi, was his brother. They had differences over the future of Paititi. When Saidi died, Amaru devoted himself to the cult. You have seen the storm. You are worried about worse to come. I ensure you that Paititi will persevere and thrive forever. I know him well. If Amaru is successful, all of us who disagree will never see this paradise. The rebels will be discarded. Not if they don't find the box. Yes. Our best hope is to find it first. Perhaps Amaru might still be brought to see love and reason. Maybe. But I doubt it. Death to the outsiders! Retribution will come! Hakan! Enough! We must strike while the snake is within reach. Justice will be met in good time. Do not jeopardize our rebellion for the sake of impulse. Yeah. Yeah, Hakan, just walk off. Don't. Oh. oh no. Hakan! Edsley, go scout ahead. We'll meet you at the edge of the mountain. Last warning. Oh boy. Follow Esley. Your clothing won't hide you long from these guards. Okay. I'll find the box. Okay. Um. Hi. You've been warned to keep the peace. I kept the peace. I was just out for a pleasant stroll with my son. Amar is losing his patience. It won't happen again. Oh boy.
Jonah, can you answer? Dr. Dominguez is originally How from Paititi. How did I Paititi. take this picture? Trinity has had a presence in Paititi since the 1600s. The former leader of the High Council, Gualtiero de Luca Dominguez, an Italian cardinal, saw great potential in a little boy and trained him, like a son, to be his replacement. He moved up in the ranks until he became the leader of the High Council. He has lived most of his life outside of Paititi, returning often but not staying long. His real name is Amaru, but as the high priest of the cult in Paititi, many people call him by his honorary title, Kukul Khan. He has brought the key of Shakshal home from Cozumel and has assured his people he will use it to protect them. Amaru wants the silver box of Ishel to protect Paititi from the encroaching dangers of the outside world, but already he is being tempted by the possibility of remaking the world in his own image. Yeah, shocking. Me and Uchi set up camp. Everything's okay. Dominguez is here. He's the leader of the cult of Kukul Khan. That's what Unaratu's rebels are fighting. What? He's been here for years. Trinity controls Paititi. Whoa. I'm going to the Eye of the Serpent. We have to get the box before the next cataclysm hits. Okay. Unfortunately, though, we're going to be doing that next time. So thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you then. Bye.